by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New York, New York and by the Board of Trustees of Mercy College, I'm honored to confer upon you Master of Business Administration from Long Island University and a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from Mercy College. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New York, New York and by the Board of Trustees of Mercy College, I'm honored to confer upon you Dr. Paul Brody, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest Mercy College alumnus, Dr. Paul Brody, to give the commencement address. Dr. Brody. Good afternoon. Oh man, come on. This is a great day. Good afternoon, Mercy College. All right. President Hall, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, esteemed faculty, students, family, and friends, I am so honored to be here. You see, this kid from the Bronx. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Never dreamed of this. But this kid from the Bronx attended the best institution in the state that gave him his foundation, Mercy College. You see, it was, it was at Mercy College that I got my start. It was at Mercy College that I became an employee. It was at Mercy College that I realized the power of education. It was there when a student said to me, this educational experience changed my life that I realized this kid from the Bronx had found his calling. So class of 2022, let's give them a hand. Yeah. Armed with the knowledge parted up on you by the esteemed faculty and your individual life experiences, you have great power, the power of education. You see, as educators, you will provide knowledge and you have the power to unlock curiosity and the potential that lies within each student you encounter. You see, as educators, you will educate and inspire individuals to achieve more than they thought was possible. And you will motivate them to reach their fullest potential. Make no mistake, education changes lives. You each have entered the life-changing profession. It is because of your work that generational cycles of poverty will be broken. It is because of your work that first generation college students will enter college. It is because of your work that students will learn to read and love it. It is because of your work, you can clap. <laughs> it is because of your work that groundbreaking administrative practices will be created and groundbreaking research will be done so that we can all learn from it. Your work 
as educators is vital. And I want to thank you for choosing the education profession. Let's give them a hand. You see, the profession that you are part of, from cradle to career, changes lives, promotes generational change, and sometimes saves lives. Throughout your career, you will touch countless lives. But let me stop there. Some of you have already made an impact on the profession and within our communities. Individuals like Shauna Patterson. Shauna, are you here? You watching? Okay, hey Shauna. <laughs> Shauna has prepared a variety of research papers on diverse types of literacy assessments and adaptive technology for students with cognitive and physical disabilities, as well as conduct conducted research on specific intervention programs. Shauna, I know you're watching, continue to conduct research that adds to the body of literature that we can all learn from. Let's give Shauna a hand. So Marina Wright Edelman stated, education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and world better than you found it. Your classmate, Tariva Bunday. Where are you? Where, uh, Tariva, are you here? All right. Don't, don't sit down. Let's stand up for a minute and face the audience. You see, Tariva has made it her life's mission to transform struggling young readers into lifelong readers. Armed with a passion to serve underserved communities, she has provided social, emotional, and academic support to elementary school students. She served, you can give her a hand. You know, she served as a volunteer for the mayor's office. And listen to this impact, where she collaborated with families and trained parents, over 100 parents, to host reading programs within their communities. Armed with her 10 years of experience as a teacher and her degree from Mercy College, she plans to enter educational administration and add the voice of a teacher to inform decision making. Tariva, from me to you, you're living up to your motto. You see, Tariva's motto is always spend life on something that will outlast you. Tariva, you are already doing that and thank you for going into the education profession. Well done. I got, I got one more. Zachary Paul. Zachary here? All right, Zachary's watching. So Zachary, just know that you are a talented leader and you provided impressive leadership over the education club while navigating the challenges of a pandemic and keeping your students engaged. Zachary, you are going to go on and be an incredible social studies teacher. Let's give Zachary a hand. So, let me speed this along because we got some partying to do, right? All right. Class of 2022, these are just some of the examples of the incredible work you're doing and the difference you are making. I ask that you remember this quote from Shai Rashif. When you educate one person, you change a life. When you educate many, you change the world. 
never forget why you took this journey. Always remember your why. Be proud of how important your profession is and the difference you have made and will make as educators, role models, mentors, and leaders in the profession. There are three essential tips I want to leave you with. One, passion is a powerful force that cannot be stopped. Your success indicates that you are resilient and unstoppable. Teach your students resilience and instill in them the same passion and drive that you have demonstrated. Two, continue to invest in your success. Learn from every single experience and soak up knowledge like a sponge. Learn from everyone, and that includes your students. Also, seek out mentors as you advance in your career. And three, don't become discouraged by setbacks or when you fail to reach a student. Learn from those setbacks. And if you fail to reach a student, remember that there are many other students that you will reach and they are depending on you. Each of you, class of 2022, each of you stand at the doorway of endless possibilities and pathways to success for yourselves and your students. Each of you holds the keys that unlock and spark intellectual curiosity, greatness, and will inspire others. You will serve as a catalyst for individual and community-wide success such as Tariva. As educators, you are leaders. Embrace your role as a leader. John Quincy Adams stated that if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Class of 2022, go forth and educate. Go forth and lead. Go forth and change lives. Well done and congratulations. <laughs>